Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be putting together this card. It is a clean and simple card. As you can see here, it is one layer. Perfect to go through the mail. And I can't wait to show you how I put this one together. And I, you know, one of my resolutions for 2018 is to accept imperfection. And I think this year I'm really going to take that to heart. And you'll see some of the struggles that I had putting this card together. But in the end, I think it came out great. So let's go ahead and get started. Side note, I do apologize if you're a little squeamish. I had a little bit of an accident on my thumb. Um, let's just say that there was a small accident with my kitten. He was trying to drink water from the bathroom sink and fell off the side and grabbed the closest object to keep himself from falling off the sink, which unfortunately was my thumb. I do have a liquid band-aid over it, so I apologize. I don't have any bandages big enough to wrap it up. So if you're squeamish about that, I do apologize. I just, I don't have any other hands to put in its place and gloves will not work while crafting it. I've, trust me, I tried, it didn't work so well. So let's go ahead and put this card together. I did use the ultraviolet Pantone color of the year for 2018 one last time. I think I've completed my study of it for at least a little while. I'll probably come back to it again later this year, but for now, that's gonna probably end our little mini series of the ultraviolet. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm once again starting off with my Wilted Violet in my Distress Ink. I'm going to use the ink this time, not the Oxide. I love the Oxides. I'm having so much fun playing with them, but I'm going to switch back over to the Distress Inks for today's card. I'm also going to add to that, I'm going to use a Blueprint Sketch and Candied Apple. I think all three of these colors are going to work great for today's card. I am going to be making a simple and clean card. I think that there's like this term flying around for or if you want an easy one layer card, you say that it is a simple clean card. So today's simple and clean card is going to use a uh, stencil that I cut out on my Cricut machine. I'm going to grab some post-it note tape or blue tape maybe? I don't know, I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna try and center this stencil out onto my piece of paper and I'm gonna hold it up to the light to do that. So let me go do that really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm noticing that my stencil is having a little bit of trouble laying down flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fold my tape over and I'm gonna use my Zig two-way glue stick. I would say this is a pen, but this is not the pen. This is just the regular old stick. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Zig onto the edge of my card so that way I can use it more like a tacky kind of uh, what's the word repositional repositional <laughs> can't speak this evening uh, basically I'm just gonna be putting a thin layer of glue all the way around letting it dry so that way it acts more like a repositionable adhesive and allows me to put it, pull it back up whenever I'm done with this. All right, so make sure this is all dry before I put this back down onto my card so that way it doesn't tear. All right, I've kind of adhered that down. Again, right now it's repositionable because that glue was dry whenever I put it down. I think my two-way glue may be running out because it's the tip is supposed to be blue, but all I see is white. So I'm wondering if maybe my pen might be um, a little old, so uh, we'll deal with that another day. I'm going to be mixing these colors together, I should say, blending them together in the order of Blueprint Sketch, then Wilted Violet, then Candied Apple. I thought these colors would work really well together because you're going to be mixing red and blues together to get purple, so why not throw that Wilted Violet into the center? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with that Wilted Violet and ink that all up.
All right, I've gotten it pretty much blended the way I wanted it. There may be a few streaks in there, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a reveal. It's always fun when you put a mask on and take that mask back off again. The amazing, uh, it just, there's something magical about it. I don't know what it is, but seeing it pull off and seeing the effect that you made is just pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and take this mask off. Dude, love it. That looks so good. Next up, I'm gonna be using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. It's called It's Your Birthday, and I think this one will work out perfectly for putting onto the balloon. I'm gonna use this happy and birthday. I'm gonna use those together and create a little happy birthday message. I'm gonna use some VersaFine ink to ink the stamp up, and I have my white embossing powder ready to go just in case I don't like just the uh, black on the darker colors. I feel like the black may not show up very well on the darker colors, so I have that heat, uh, the white heat embossing powder ready to go just on the off chance that I don't like it the way it is. And I didn't quite stamp it just right, and I should have used my Misty to do this because I forgot how thin lined these, uh, these images are. Let's see if I can do this. I, my head may get in the way as I try to double stamp this. And it didn't quite end up in the exact same spot, but I'm actually not upset about that. In fact, I think it actually looks pretty good the way it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the stamp. Unfortunately, the Y just didn't make it there. It's just not there. So I am gonna have to figure something out. I like the rest of it. I don't think I can do any white heat embossing on it though because the lines are just too thin. All right guys, remember 2018 is the year of you embracing your imperfections. And this unfortunately did not turn out the way that we wanted it to, but I'm gonna take my Copic Multiliner. I have a couple of fine pens here. They have super fine tips to them. I think this will work out nicely. I'm trying to figure out which one of these two I wanna go with. This is the 0.03. I think I wanna start off with this one. And I'm just gonna try and put that Y back in place. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a thicker one. I think this is a thicker one, maybe a thinner one. I'm not 100% sure. They are, they're both very hard to see. That looks a little better. There we go, all right. So I'm adding those stems back in on the two P's and adding it into the Y. And even a little bit on the H here, the H didn't quite stamp the way I wanted it to. There you go, now you can really see the uh, word happy. And I'm gonna leave this double stamping alone on, well, am I gonna leave it alone? I don't know, I'm having to make decisions again, which is hard. I feel like that looks pretty good. It is, I, you know, you couldn't have asked for a better double stamp if I had tried. I think it came out perfectly, even though it's not the effect that I was going for. I think it, it kind of is a happy accident. All right, lastly, I'm gonna take my .3 pen and I'm just gonna tie a little bow around the bottom here. How do I wanna do this? This is always the part that drives me a little crazy because I never know what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna make it a little, little knot. And then a string coming down from it. All right, there we go. Is this card perfect? Absolutely not, but remember, our resolution for 2018 is to accept our imperfections. And yes, this is not a perfect card, but given the circumstances, I think it came out just fine. It's gonna be a great, simple, and clean card for you to give to whoever you want, to your boss, to your coworkers, to your friends, to your family. It's a great handmade card that doesn't take very long to put together. So remember guys, as you're putting cards together, they don't have to be perfect as long as they're made with love. That's the most important part. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you liked my video, and then we'll hopefully share it across YouTube land. Also, if you're not already, hit that button down below that says subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get great updates every time I post a new video, especially when you click that bell icon that gives you notifications every time I go live, 
or post a new video. I post brand new videos every Friday, so make sure to check back here on my YouTube channel. You can always get a reminder. Hey Alexa, remind me that Ian, the off-kilter crafter, posted a video every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Okay. I'll remind you every Friday at 9.30 a.m. You can also get social with me by checking out my social media links, all of which are located down below in the description box. Go check those out. They include Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, I already said Facebook, lots of places. Go check them all out. I hope everybody has a great day. Remember, guys, keep it off kilter. Bye.